playing. And on the inside, on the left-hand side, is Saul van der Merwen, the Audi 500. Kervin Hedy van der Linde is going for the front. And a late entry here is the animal, and that's Willie Hepburn is in the field. He started the back of Class A, and Willie Hepburn is in this field as well. In that big uh, save at Sierra, the big five leader Ford as on their way they go, and they go round Gans Corner. You can see the size of this field on their way round to the top Swood S's. And it's Hepburn has gone to the front. Followed by by uh, Hedy van der Linde in that BP Nissan. And this race is well and truly on. There are 10 laps in this race, 38 kilometers. It's the Sabat Sierra in the front. Animal Willie Hepburn, the late entries in the front. Saul van der Merwe third. Hannes Robler with that popping, squeaking, uh, squeaking turbocharged X rally cars in fourth position. Then it's Ben Morgan who's coming. Ivarash leading. Class B is just behind in that car. He's from Hyperspares in King Williamstown. And there is Willie Hepburn out the front there from the fourth row of the grid with Henny van der Linde getting the tail out as he goes through Continental Corner. Well, what a turn up for the books. Uh, it's the uh, Audi 500 turbos in third position as they come down towards it. This big throbbing V8 with Hepburn making it a very wide motor car. There's Sol van der Merwe slowing. He seems to be slowing in the turbo. Audi. And it is, uh, let's have a look if he is. Yes, he's not in the picture. He's staying to the left-hand side of the road as they come round to finish lap one. It's the sliding, the big throbbing V8. There's the animal in front. Willie Hepburn throbs his way past Hedy van der Linde, second with the turbocharged Nissan 300 ZX and the Tau Turbo, the Audi Turbo's in the pits. You can just see it on the right-hand side of your screen, pulling into the pits. They're opening the bonnet furiously, as you can see. There it is. They're opening to see what is wrong with it. After getting away from the start, is he going to be able to go on? Everybody's been told to keep back. He'll be getting out of that pit just as fast as he can. Are they going to open the bonnet? And there's the sliding animal. Henny van der Linde second. It's same again. Once again, it's Ben Morgan. who Ivor Rasch is next. Then it's Dick Sorensen, the Australian, the winner of Class B. Next is Hannes Robler in there. Willie Hepburn is in the front from the fourth row of the grid. He's come through to the front. Henny van der Linde next. This road is very, very hot indeed. And it's really punishing these tyres on these motorcars, the gumball tyres, as they exit West Bank and make down the hill. Well, what a turn up for the books with all the new machinery around. It's the old school that's doing it again. Ivor Rosh has now got Hannes Krobler in his tail. The next one down there is, uh, is uh, there's Dick Sorensen. Nice shot as he goes through, goes through Conti Corner in that save at Nissan Skyline. That's the ex Henny van der Linde car. That's the one that won the championship in Class B last year. And nothing between these three. Anything can still happen. This is the coming up to the end of lap two. But what a turn up for the books, Graham. Yeah, it definitely, Roger. It is lovely to see you. the Ford motor here in the Ford to see. Henny van der Linde, what a very difficult time for this week. For the preparation for this race. And Willy, go a little bit further. Go on, hold. Yeah, I'm sure you'll hold. Willy, hold him. And Henny van der Linde comes by. Henny van der Linde comes by on the other side. It's after us. It's over in the middle. But Willy is still there. Then it's us. The motor for Ranford and Ben Morgan who are in the third position. Ivor Rasch wordt die vierde, dan is het Hannes Grobler. Ik is zeker, ons gaan nog een beetje meer van die skylines van Hannes Grobler zien. Toe Sarel in die Kuipen ingekom het, het hy een van die renjaars wat oor die baan gehaard op het, raak gerei in die Kuipen. Die man het dier die lucht gevlieg, maar het daarom opgestaan en weer weggehaard op, net daar by die ingang van die Kuipen. Maar terug by die wedren is Henny van der Linde wat die voortouw is dier die topsport is en gejaagd en daar die groot Seibert V8 motor. So bietje rook, rook wat daar uitkom, hoop net die ding bly aan mekaar. Misschien is het kom dit van Henny sy motor, maar jy sal nooit kan sê nie. Daar probeer hy aan die binnenkant voorbij, kom krijg het nie heel te maar recht nie. En Ben Morgenroot sit heel te maar amper op hulle hakke. En dinge gaan nou definitief begin gebeur. En Ben Morgenroot tol! Nou moet hy pas op vir die motors wat voorbij kom. Daar is Hannes Grobbele, dan is het Ivar Raas wat voorbij kom. Hy is in die moeilijkheid, hy sal nie makkelijk omdraai daar nie. En het lyk vir my die motor, daar is so klomp vlamme wat daar uitkom. En ons is weer terug by die Continental draai. Willy Hebben wat alles in sy vermoe probeer om voorbij hierdie Nissan 300 ZX per... Man, dit is bestuurs voor nif. Absoluut fantastisch. Dus die man om so uit hang en hy bly net daar in die prankie. Maar die veteran is nog laat nie gevoel by die. Twee en drie kwart rond is oor. Dit is NTN draai wat hulle nou ingaan. Sadelse motor sal nie terugwees in die veteran nie. Sien of Willy een probleem het. Misschien gooi die motor Evans olie uit en dit op die wiele. Die die sliek bande wil glad geensens enige olie op hulle heen. Ons nou sien ons olie een probleem het. Dit is nou die deur kom, sit die kracht aan en dit is geweldig baie kracht. Henny van der Linde wat... Evans weg gaat loop en na die vreselike grom van die Seibat V8. Dan hier kom Hannes. Hannes is ook aan die kom op hierdie stadium. Hierdie motors is nou dier die Gans draai. En Johan kut sê aan die voortouw in Klas B op hierdie stadium. Ons kyk na wat moet gebeur hier so. Dit is een starige, dit is 
Ek is so die mekaar, want hierdie veteran is absoluut pijk. Dit is gebeur in die eerste ronde, dit is Willy Hebben, wat daar wijd gegaan het. En is soos ek voorspel het, miskien een probleem het van een Evans Oli Lekkie, wat op die bande uitgooi. Henry van der Linde, wat nou heel te mal weg is in die, die dier, soos Roger om noem, jaag natuurlijk hierdie nis aan hier. Hy wil hierdie sy wat voort moet vandag wen. Hy het die voortouw van die man die begin van die wedren en hoopelik gaan hy die voortouw weerneem voor die einde van die wedren. Maar net achterom sit Hannes Grobler. Hannes Grobler met die Turbo Skyline, een lieflike stikkie in, uh, in geneerswerke. Van my vroeger gesê, 300.000 rand net vir die engine van daar die motor. Well that's, I mean, that's why they call Willie Hepburn the little man with a big heart. You've seen a couple of demonstrations. And that's Johan Kutsi coming down towards us. Johan Kutsi is having his own bite there. We're going back to that one. There he goes. It's Dick Sorensen gets ahead of him. But Johan Kutsi is in the ex Nicker van Rensburg 2.8 Nissan Skylines, the Gearmax car. He's moved up from his little 1600 Escort. And there is Johan Kutsi giving it a full go. And up to just a few seconds ago, he's ahead of Dick Sorensen. That's another Skyline action. And just behind him, you could see the Porsche of Gary Dunkley. So it's wild there in the B-Class cars. Those are cars up to 3,600 cc. And here they come. And look at this. This is just the B-Class alone. Sorensen, there he is. You hunt could see. Giving that car a real workout the way we used to remember him driving his little Borg Warner Ford Escort. He's giving this bigness and Skyline the same sort of treatment. And not far behind him, there we've got Gary Dunkley in his Porsche as well, also in the Sabat Porsche. Sorensen's lying second at the moment to Raj. Arbor Raj moved down from Class A. But great performance, Brian Bezaden is just behind him. And there is Willie Hepburn giving it his all behind Henny van der Linde. Henny van der Linde, known as the master tuner of South African racing. He can make road cars go very quickly. Hepburn looks for a way to get through. Keeps the pressure on and he pours all that power on. 500 horses goes onto the back wheels as he goes down there. Hannes Strobler is coming out. What a great drive there in third position. You can see him coming down the hill and that's his ex-rally machine. There is uh, the 1300cc car of Grundling and the pressure's on. You can see, and listen to the throb of that motor as he exits Continental Corner. That big V8 is hard at work. That's the big Bosch Ford motor as they come up now on Kurva Strobler. And here they come. And Hepburn, this little man, is looking for a way through. What a turn up for the books with all the machine, new machinery. It's the old school, the old guard that are in there in first and second position. Now watch him pull this power on. Right on Henny's tail. Henny's got the advantage of a turbocharger pushing about one and a half bars. He's also producing about 500, 600 horsepower. And there's the... Sabat's here looking for a way through. Look at him, he's just working that wheel over there. The tail comes out, it smoke off those big avens as he goes around Gantz. And here's Gary uh, Duncan, and that's Larry uh, Wilford in 15. And on his tail, he's got Paddy Drive as well. All the well-known names, you know, in the Duckham's Mazda too. Paddy's been at racing for 35 years. Larry Wilford now starting to give a good performance in that uh, Sabat Mazda. Ben Morgan, who he spun it earlier, he's a little further back. You can see all these top cars all around the circuit really giving it absolutely all we seem to have lost one camera on the one corner and here they are back with the leaders we've now finished half this race we're on lap six and willie hepburn that smoking animal is keeping the pressure on as they get into the back markers Ja, en daar gaan hulle nou voorbij Trevor Pipes, die motorkie van Tommy Martens en Kreesdorp. Die voorloop precies al Henny van der Linde. Dan is het Willy Hebben. Hebben wat glad nie vir van der Linde makkelijke wedren gaan gee nie. En die audio is terug op die renbaan. Die audio is ook terug op die renbaan. Misschien sal hy by hulle kan naderlik aan kom. En die blijft met die turbo van Henny van der Linde skop so'n bykie rook uit elke keer wat daar ratte verwissel word. En ons het die vorige ronde ook gesê. En kerels, hier, hier gaan julle moet pad gee. Hier kom groot machinerie van achteraf. En julle sal moet groot pad maak. Hierdie man het een weie stikkie baan nodig. En dit is waar dinge gebeur. Hierdie manne moet weet dat daar drie speel nie optionele extra aan die renmotor is nie. Want hierdie van die gemotors wil deurkom. Hennie van der Linde. Die BP Nissen. BP Nissen van Hennie van der Linde kom hy daar voorbij. Willy Hebben. Willy Hebben sit die kracht aan. Kom voorbij die stadiger motors daar. En nou sit die Gans uh, draai wat voorlee. Vier rond is oor in hierdie wedren. En van vier rond is gaan ons definitief nog baie baie aksie sien. Hannes Grobler wat nou nader kom ook op hierdie stadium. Aan die manne, maar lijkt mij net niet, hy kan vang. Hier het ons die Audi van Sarel van de Merwe, die die Mijnskag af. EG draai wordt aangedrukt. Dan is er die uh, Continental draai. Daar wordt hard gereid die Sarel, dit is te laat. Misschien wil hy maar net vir die manne wees. Kijk, kerel, als je die motor kan loop, dan was maar net een klein technische foukie. En in klas B is die groot gevecht nog steeds aan Ivar Haas aan die voortouw. En uh, Johan Kutsia nou in die tweede plek. Het lijkt mij uh, 
Dick Sorensen het ergens van die baan afgevallen of iets het fout gaan. Terug voor die voorlust uh, bij Westbank. Henny van Linden nog steeds in die voortouw en dis baie baie lekker om te sien. Na een week van geweldige harde werk en baie baie probleme. Hy het drie turbo aanjaars geblaas hierdie week. En nou sê die man hier aan die voortouw van die Westbank gemodificeerde motors in sy BP Nissan. Maar natuurlijk achterom het hy uh, evens een uh, klein mannetje met een groot probleem. Dis verseker. Continental Drive, Willy Hebben, die groot V8. En is lekker om om hier by die baan te sien. Ons het nie verwacht om om te sien nie. Dis een laat inskrywing gewees. Oh! Henny van der Linde blaas die turbo, weer eens die as van die turbo word geblaas en nou moet hy van die lijn afblij, wat gaan Wally hebben? Wally hebben sal niks achterom kan sien nie, dit is probleme, Carol kom uit die pad uit, want daar word nou, alhoewel al nie baie olie op die baan uitgegooi word nie, dit is wat ons gesien het, woensdag en donderdag en vrijdag. Ongelukkig, Wally hebben probeer nou dier daar die rook massa deerkom, mens kan absoluut niks sien nie, En het, dit is hoe die valskerm springen ze doen, maar dit is hoe ons het op Kai Lamy ook doen. Ons wacht voor Willy. Willy is ook nog die deur nie. Dit is moeilijkheid, Kerels. Hier kom Willy nou deur. Die wedren is alweer aan die gang. Die rook begin weggaan. Daar word u grom daar die krachtige V8. Maar daar is wel baie olie op die baan neergezet. Lijkt het vir my. Hier is die deur en aan die voortouw. Well, that's called laying a smoke screen in a big way. Hey, oh, he's got a puncture, has he? He's got problems with his tire. Is there oil on the circuit? I think it's oil on the circuit. Willie Hepburn, he couldn't see where he was going. I see the Audi's back on the track as well. But now the uh, the visibility's improved. There's George Bazaino just coming down the road. He's leading Class D in the little BP Nissan Extra. And there's the new one, the new Fram. 1.60 year old Pat Duckham heats up from uh, Peter Marisburg, lying second in Class D. He's smoking. So Hannes Strobler looks like he's going to have a fairy tale debut in this car with just these two and a half laps to go. Willie Hepburn's got a problem with the tyre, no doubt about it. That inside left front wheel, and Hannes Schrobler is going to the front, and that's his former rally car that he used to tear through the forest at 200 plus, and here he's doing about 250 kilometers an hour around Kyle Army. And Willie Hepburn, don't worry about that flat front wheel. He is still sending that motor car along. He means to finish with it. What a performance he's given. He's running on the rim. You can see him running on the rim, and those rims are about 2,000 rand each. As Hannes Schrobler takes the lead and there's the moment this is the first time out with this motor car Nissan having a, a good afternoon here here he comes Hannes Strobler he's got to finish another two laps after this as they come up to finish and Willie is still pouring it on how he's able to do this and he's not coming to the pits either is he he's staying in the race you can't believe this man Ivor Rosh is just behind him well that was a big blow up there for Honey Henny van der Linde that's a fourth turbo he's lost this week as Hannes pours it on, it's a beautiful sound as it pops and squeaks here. And Willie Hepburn, they don't call him this little man with a big heart for nothing. There comes uh, Rash, he's now lying third. Here comes Morgan, who just got up to fourth position. There comes the Gearmax uh, skyline of uh, Johan could see next. Here comes Gary, oh, and he stopped as well, and Gary Dunkley's moved up a position. So this is really a race there of attrition. You can't believe it, the casualties that are happening has been run and run at such a pace but the circuit is slippery and there's your leader and there's the second man can you believe it on three tires he's going around the circuit a lot faster than any of us like to go he's going to lose second now as Ivor Ross goes into second he's leading the B class that's for cars up to 3600 cc's Eppen still goes on he knows he's got a lap and a half to go in this race and he's prepared to take that car and drive it to destruction. He's going to be out with another V8 a little later in the year when they go down to Cape Town on the 18th of February, and that's going to be great stuff. Well, there he is, the leader, the top speed of that motor car, 225 at Kyle Army. This is a fairy tale debut. He's got to watch his tyres. They were getting uh, torn to shreds during practice, and Hannes is going to be great for him. He's won rally, he's won in racing, and here he comes down the road now. And the motorsport scene is certainly got underway in a big way there's international carts at the Swatkop circuit next Saturday there's the champion motorcycle uh, national racing at the Swatkops on the 11th of February that's going to be for all cars and here's another one that's now the tires quiet enough Avon just can't make tires that can go at that speed around the circuit and if Willie keeps going in this one as the others start coming by he's now losing but what a brave drive it's never say die Willie Hepburn and all the titles he's been given and he's going on the rim He's going to go, he's not going to the pits, Willie Hepburn, and can you believe it? He's going to go this final lap on the rim. 
You can't believe him. He's not slowing at all, or is he? No, this time he is. He just can't go any further. And uh, he's decided to call. Now, what a brave driver. Well, he certainly is getting the, the, the applause from the crowd for a brave drive in the big animal. That's the Sabiat Sierra. And he certainly pushed along. There's your leader now as we're into the last lap and a half of this race. And this is his very first outing. And look at that impressive motor car. He's already starting to wave the victory wave. And I'm not sure it's over yet. His tyres. And there's Raj putting on the pressure. Don't discount Ivor Raj. The hyperspace Mazda's there. And Ben Morgan Root's there. So this race is not over. We, we're on the the final stages of this race and Ivor Rosh is starting to put on the pressure he's moved down to the B-class cars but this West Bank racing has certainly provided the action if you go to the final half a lap of this race they're waiting with the flag as he comes down the road and look there's Willie Hepburn's rim you can see the marks he's left on the track that's going to need resurfacing that's for sure Scrubler comes down here with that mighty big machine it's a four-wheel drive Nissan 600 horses and look at this for a close finish Scrubler's coming up the flag is waiting for him down here. If we've got all our numbers right, the flag is John Wheeler's waiting with the flag. And there's nothing in it. It's Hannes Krobler across the line, right on his tail. There's Ivor Rosh. You can see there's nothing in Ben Morgan Root, third in the in the BP Mazda. Well, that's great racing there. So let's just give you the results.